to get logs right here. Five dollars to get logs. Five, seven and a half. I get five, but not seven and a half. Five and seven and a half, but not ten. Seven and a half, but not ten. You want seven and a half? You get ten dollars worth. I get seven and a half, get a ten. Seven and a half, get a ten. Seven and a half, get a ten. Twelve and a half, ten. Twelve and a half, ten. Ah, hello. Isn't that a beautiful scene? Absolutely love it. You know what? This is actually called the swimming hole. It is a Wallace nutting piece. See how it's signed down there? The lady brought it in. It's the largest Wallace nulling I've ever seen. Anyway, this is Chris Dudley. We're getting ready for our antique auction. There's some absolutely wonderful things in the hall. You know, it's so funny when we start and I start looking at things and oh, maybe this is the week we won't make it. But it always falls into place and there's always such wonderful things and such a great variety. And that's because we do so many estates in a short period of time that things come in that just are totally unexpected and it's got a wonderful variety right now i've got poor mason over here he's cleaning out one of the cabinets so we can put the coins in the coins came in at the last minute great paper great advertise just all kinds of really cool stuff but like this back to this nutting look how big that thing is and that one was done the gentle, the lady that brought it in said it was her dad's he started out as a clerk in a bank in Augusta, Maine, and went all the way up to President, and when he left, he took this Wallace Nutting with him. Most beautiful Wallace Nutting I've ever seen. Anyway, I've got another small Wallace Nutting on the other side. Check out this tea cart and the caster sets. There's some wonderful puppets, some Indonesian puppets, and here's another Wallace Nutting, and it's an interior scene, which the interior scenes are one of those that are actually highly collectible as well. So we're gonna start, we're gonna go around, we're gonna talk about the cool stuff. Now do remember that we do have the jewelry auction. I'm sitting here still putting it away. It's a little bit of a mess yet. Um, this one came from that estate again that had these one these appraisals, and this one is um, yellow gold zircon. It's beautiful, got diamonds all the way around. There's a diamond here, there's a real nice little diamond there. There's some pearls, look at the size of that smoky topaz. Check out these cool gold pieces. I got a gold men's watch there. A pair of gold um, cufflinks. And the charms, we have a bear stein, a German stein, a Nantucket basket. Again, movable parts. It's got the etching on the top and St. Patrick's Cathedral there in New York. Got some more gold down here. Some Victorian pieces that are really cool. They're 10 karat, but still very, very nice. Um, some scrap gold pipes. I even got teeth over there. Can you imagine such a thing? Watches, I do have men's gold watch. These are signed. Um, pieces from boxers that's very cool and then that whole thing right there is filled with autographs and pictures and articles and and postcards from silent movie stars from the early 1900s um, we haven't put these away yet but these are lots of the different coins that we've got came from an estate fresh right out of the market i mean you can take a look at them this is how it goes oh man pull it out there's some more under there more and more and more and more more what fun so those are going to go there's some sterling candelabras here there's heisey glass some wonderful sterling through there more waterford um, sterling based crystal uh, look at all these little pill boxes and little perfumes very very cute there's some nice glass in here um, look at them chicks with guns man major league player transfer player major league ball club that's pretty cool i should know who that belongs to uh, George A. Ruth. So I bet you there's a babe involved in that. Always a babe involved in things, isn't it? Hummels, Yadros, Royal Daltons, Art Glass. Um, there's some more down here. Beautiful Parian Weir. Check out that tobacco jar on the bottom there. It's got killer fish feet on the bottom. There's Balik. It has brown, black, green, uh, and blue marks on there. There's a Van Briggle piece. Some Roseville, some more Sterling. I'm gonna get up, I'm just gonna keep moving. Um, coming through here, there's a squirrel, squirrel. You hear me say squirrel. There's a, a um, there's ammo in there. There's some early postcards, got some other postcards. And look at this little bitty miniature gun. Cutest darn thing, I don't even think it's an inch long. It's got its own bullets and everything. There's some Russian things here. The caps and all the emblems. There's some Russian folk art, a settlement cookbook. There you go, some more Russian things, and then some really cool early Egyptian pipes. There's an incense burner, there's some etched gourds there, there's some, I think those are like in the 1832nd Seminole War metal iron. Jeez, get it out, Christine. Cannonballs, little balls, musket balls, all those kind of balls. Some chopped up rocks. You know, really, it's like a hatchet kind of thing. Some Marjan pieces here. Mid-century modern stuff going on here. Check out this table and chairs. I'm going to wick over here real quick and show you some more of the Egyptian early stuff coming through here. Beautiful uh, bird's eye maple candlestick 
table flips out, made in Maine. This is a nice little duck and five piece, and whoop, surprise! It's a silverware hiding spot. Very cool, very, very cool. Coming back through here again, very cool 60s table uh, and chairs. There's an office thing right here. Lots of teak, I'll come back and show you all that art. Man, you should see the art, all kinds of art. Now, the jewelry, don't forget, we've got an online auction going right now. You can go there, bid online. I'm gonna be, I think we have 80 lots up. I got about a, another 80 to put up there. That sale is gonna be um, live and online on the 13th of May. So got lots of cool stuff happening here. Okay, back to the World Traveler. Look at this. Isn't that a beautiful set? Absolutely gorgeous. There's some cinnabar here. I'm gonna to have to put this across. More early Egyptian stuff. Great, really, really good. Check that guy out. Some more. Cloisonne matching sets. Now we see lots of Cloisonne, but not, in, not as many sets as we've seen lately. Beautiful, look at the wood in this. Look at there, the carving is exquisite. And here's some more. And there's some nice early oriental stove things. More cinnabar, look at that. Isn't that a wonderful set? Okay, sliding over this way. Victorian, oops, hold on, didn't mean to go so fast. Victorian eye class, there's a military, Pearl Harbor survivor, retirement. Um, it's that's in the States. Ruby Russell, ruffled glass. Those are Waterford. This is a wonderful set of early milk glass. You don't see all those pieces all at one time. Just very, very cool. Ah, look at the Wedgwood, Jasperware, more crystal, more Jasperware. Oh, there's a nice hull piece. Nice Majelica. Check out this Majelica. Just wonderful stuff. This piece is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. I sound so excited, don't I? Those are wonderful. Check her out. Look how beautiful she is. Got that Art Deco feel to it. No problem. Look at these. There you go. Made Buffalo Pottery. That's what these are right here. They've got your... The Fallow Field Hunt. Is that one? And what is this one? Oh, gosh. The Lion Inn. Can you imagine? Now, look at this. All this cool stuff. Look at... Oh, and over in that end, all the way over there, we've got this amazing collection of price guides like you would not believe hundreds and hundreds of them we're going to do those as a separate ring anybody high bit of choice times the money okay coming back this way our mid-century modern sections blended with some nice oriental stuff beautiful teak furniture nice and clean lines everybody loves this stuff it's hot 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 right now um look at this drop front come on there we go opens up inside just a beautiful setup on those etched art glass again stuff from all over the world these are vaseline these are your 18 gods check them out we got all the paperwork they were all wrapped in straw when they came here the 18 lohan hmm buddhist monastery very cool these are batik one two three of them great set right there lots of art from all over the world i mean we've got european stuff we have oriental stuff we've got things from vietnam um, just so cool. Another mid-century piece that goes with that. Nice mid-century teak with the tile inserts. Pair of, uh, get yourself a nice crush velvet. Sit here and just pet it. Two Marjan sets. And this is a Gibson guitar. And if you go look at the website, you can see a little bit more information on that. These have the pull-out butterfly leaves on this table. Very nice. Mid-century glass. Again, name brand glass. Lots of it coming in from all over. And this is a, one of those butterfly, um, not only butterfly, but lift top table. So it jumps up and makes it a regular table as well as a coffee table. Then you've got these guys. These are the Magnavox speakers. Mid-century again. More radios, more radios. Now we're coming into the Grundig. Check this guy out. The guys were playing the record the other day. What the, the, the best of the doobies. Can you imagine? I remember the doobies. You remember the doobies? I'm telling my age. Look at this art glass. Look at this piece right here. My goodness, the control bubbles in there are wonderful. Another sign piece. Got some um, amethyst glass over here. I'm going to try to hurry up. I know everybody's like got lots of stuff to do. Killer piece. This is wonderful. Just look at these. These are all from Vietnam. Really, really well done. And here is a Kevin Jenkins piece. This is one of Kevin's original pieces. Signed right there. Jenkins. And it's one of those... Uh, <laughs> Keep on swimming. All I can see when I see this is uh, Dory bouncing off the top of them. It is a lamp. Boing, boing, boing. There we go. Rattan. Hawaiian. Nice pieces. Set of masting tables. Great fold up. 
So now we're jumping on over here. We got the walnuts in this area. We have some maple. Um, look at the chairs. All those are all children's chairs. Look how cool they look hanging up there. There's a whole bunch of wonderful ironstone early drop front. Here we go. And then we got a butterfly lift out tables again. Done in maple. This is a Haywood Wakefield piece here. There's a featherweight. Look at the china. We got four or five sets of china. Just amazing stuff. Just really wonderful because we got some here. Check out this typewriter. Came with its own typewriter papers, authorized dealer. So Mr. Smith was selling them. Check out all this art. I'm telling you, there's some wonderful stuff, guys. If you know anybody that's an art dealer, this look at this pastel. Just amazing piece. It's signed under there. Another oil on board. There's a reverse painting. There's a wonderful piece of glass. Um, wonderful art right there showing looks like mountains could be Austria who knows check out this desk lots of uh, vintage postcards look at this this is an original postcard album it's got some really cool stuff in it there's some more postcards more postcards more postcards and another clock there we go wardrobes it sounds like we're, you know we get wardrobes from all over when it rains, it pours. But look at the tiger oak on this thing. I'm going to back it up. Beep, 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 beep. And I missed the desert rose. Look, now the drop leaf, desert rose, four ladder backs, two sets of flatware. Nice oak everywhere. Small wardrobe, large wardrobe. Big one for the mama bear, papa bear wardrobes. There we go. Look at this rocker. Isn't this cute the way it's all twisted? Wonderful, wonderful. This is one of those gem globes that from all around the world and it's all semi-precious gems built right in on there. Really cool piece. This is a block. Um, crystal cake stand. Check out this. This is very cool. Look at this chair. It's wood all the way around. Man, talk about some oak going on there. Another wardrobe. Killer litho. Pre-Civil War. Just really neat. And there's some bird ones. There's a go. Paradise Miner. There we go. Small cabinet. Now we're coming over to the Victorian and the mahogany. Uh, little side chest. Look at the carving on the bottom of this. Another double set. Another wonderful two-tier pie crust table right there. One more sofa. There's some early push-up brass. East Lake piece back there. The mirror is wonderful. Another sofa. Coming around. Coming around. There's a nice oriental piece all carved in the front. Tile tops. Lots of crystal, everything from brilliant to early American pressed glass, lots of pottery, selling them in groups and piles. Um, there's some more art glass back through here. Wonderful Colin Campbell Cooper, Litho Point, signed. Really cool piece there. I'm gonna back it up, beep, 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 watch out. And we're gonna go look at some other things. Really neat piece here. Now I can see, now can you see the lion face? See where the, where the fountain is? That's the, um, that's the nose and it comes down and makes the mouth and the eyes are up to the right and to the left. I see it. Everybody else tells me I'm looking at clouds. But there it is. Great piece by Pino signed. This piece is very cool. It scoots down. It is a bar and then it has a little lock in the bottom. So you got this round bar on wheels and it pops right up, comes right down. Major teddy bears. Look at these. I think they're boys. I'm not really sure. Does that look like boys? Yep, boys bears. They're commercial giant teddy bear display pieces just wonderful check out the fireplace and all the pieces and parts that go along with it beautiful look at the size of this crystal vase just wonderful need yourself a pair of victorian fellows to watch out nice little octagon shape again beautiful legs on the bottom of this thing walking around tea cart another great pastel i'm telling you the art guys the art is amazing in this sale if you don't know anybody if you know anybody that's in art that does it Please, please share this with them and tell them to come on in. Great grandfather clock. Oops, it's so dark you can't see it. There we go. Nice burling on the side. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, zoom. Hold on, we're gonna spin around. Okay, coming over to the white wicker and the iron. Isn't that sweet? Got that little birdhouse over there. Another nice piece of art. Beautiful, nice oil on canvas. Signed Joe Fallon, Jay Fallon, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna come back through here. I'm gonna back up, back, beep, 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 beep. Cute little area, man. It's got a nice little iron ta um, iron bed. Crazy quilt, cool. all in pastels. Unusual, never seen it. Little child's rockers, walker wicker, plant stands. More art. Got that Florida scene there going on. That's pretty cool. More European travel oils on board. There's a matching pier right there. Flip top, half table. Another wardrobe, giant wardrobe. This one's walnut. 
Nice pair of matching leather chairs, men's chairs. Got some carpets, got some Victorian uh, lamps, hanging lamps. Got a nice little leather top desk here. Check out this cool desk thing. Here we go. Got the little glasses and then the, it's got the 14 karat nib in there. It's so cute. So cute. Armchair all tufted. Iron. Beautiful iron set ready for your patio. Another set of dishes. I think these are all Haviland. Sure enough, Theodore Haviland made in France. Coming back through here, here's some baskets. Another wonderful piece of art. That's the winter scene right there. Great oak, look at the wonderful. This column's got that empire feel to it, the tiger oak in it. Lots of dishes again. These are reproduction, but they're the blue and white. They're really nice. This is a set of fashion print dishes. There's a mixed bunch there. So you got a little bit of everything. Lots of carpeting, lots of carpeting. Check out the cherry drop leaf table here. Another set of dishes. Got the gold rim all the way around. There you go. Gotta do it sideways. There we go. Noritake Japan. So nice stuff through there. Nice lift top table. Some these guys are cool. These are the Indian bookends and some early books. I'm telling you, and then there's some things. If we get to it, we'll be selling all this pottery. We go around, we're gonna go over to the other area, which sometimes can be the primitive area, but didn't have very many primitives this year. So here we go, we're gonna move on over. We're still working really hard trying to get it all cataloged. I mean, there's just some wonderful things in here. Look at all these cute, cute little children's chairs. There's a bunch of them that hung up. There's two high chairs, nice little roll top desk for the child size, really wonderful drop leaf. Um, pineapple set of uh, mahogany. A uh, twin L beds drop front secretary here wonderful uh, pastel and up there and then oh, I and I was there talk about pictures. fly boys man that is a very cool piece got some early um, flags all wrapped up some quilts paper quilted they're all pressed it's really fun <laughs> oh, excuse me you can hear Robert in the background he's still cataloging trying to get it all together early American press class Got some ships, the ship at sea. Look at this crafted piece. Boy, that's some beautiful wood in that one. And then a really nice oil painting that way. There you go, I'm gonna show you the pressed pieces as far as these are signed. Is it Quilt grooming, snowflakes, uh, those are just really wonderful. Some copper things here. Another wardrobe, lots of wardrobes. Oil. And then some cups and saucers. Yes, yeah, so we, we have a fur, as warm as it's gonna be. We have a fur, mink stole. And there's some shorebirds. There's a really nice piece right there. That's Raoul Duffy. It's French early print. Really nice setup right there. Another bed. Back it up. Some art. There's some. Look at these. These are cute. Some stuff there. You never know what you're going to find. Barbie. Look at Barbie and Ken over there. Wardrobe. Another neat winter scene. Some more. Some early classes. Games, there's some chairs up there. Now look at this. This is somebody's antique is price eight, guide collectible eight, library. Just five, about anything eight, you can imagine is in here from early pieces. There's stuff Mahjong, on silver. There you go. There's stuff on silver. There's art. There's music. Um, there's uh, pottery. There's glass. There's furniture. Here you can even do your comparisons because look at all those years of Covals right there. You can compare them. There's Lamouz, Rookwood. Um, Lots of glassware. I know that we use the internet a lot, but Jesus is fun to read. Some people love to read cookbooks. Me, I love to read price guides. I'm talking about learning every single day. Look at these bookends, celluloids, toys, 50s and 60s glass, art pottery, vintage clothes. Actually, this is one of my favorite ones. This one right here, Crystal Stemware Identification Guide. This is the one that they use for um, replacements LTD. It's really great if you're trying to identify glass. You could sit for hours, but flipping through these books makes it really fun. Okay, down here, you got some other really cool tractors and some other stuff. And we've got some other really great pieces. There, the guys go working hard trying to get it all done. It is going to be a nice sale. We look forward to seeing you. Again, don't forget to go to do the online portion of uh, the, the, the jewelry that's coming up. Again, I'll look at some real quick jewelry here. This, and then there's some, there's some neat place, paper here. Some wonderful early, early paper. Look at that. Photographs. Discharge certificates. I mean, there's some cool stuff. 
Anyway, that's what's fun about doing one of our auctions. You just never know from one day to the next what you're going to run across and what kind of cool stuff we're going to have. So we'll see you Sunday, 1 o'clock. Preview starts at 10. Um, it just amazes me when I look at all this stuff. We start off Monday with unloading the trucks. Big old pile on Tuesday. Sort, separate Wednesday, Thursday. Set it up. Sweep it up. Catalog it today. Put the photos and labels tomorrow. Send you out. We will send you a catalog via email tomorrow so you can see it. And if you can't make it, go to the website. You can pre do left bids from the website because the catalog will have the photos right there. And so it gives you an opportunity if you're out of town and you want us to ship it to you or if you can't make it because you got something going on, you can always, always use this. And I'm going to leave you with this wonderful swimming hole. Look at this. I just think this is so beautiful. So there you go. There's your thought for the night. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye.